Emmy Notha. Emily Emmy Notha born on the 23rd of March 1882, die on the 14th of April 1935, was a German mathematician who made many important contributions to abstract algebra. She discovered Notha's first and second theorem, which are fundamental in mathematical physics. She was described by Pavel Alexandrov, Albert Einstein, Jean Diudon, Hermann Weyl and Norbert Wiener as the most important woman in the history of mathematics. As one of the leading mathematicians of her time, she developed some theories of rings, fields, and algebras. In physics, Noether's theorem explains the connection between symmetry and conservation laws. Noether was born to a Jewish family in the Franconian town of Elangen. Her father was the mathematician Max Noether. She originally planned to teach French and English after passing the required examinations, but instead studied mathematics at the University of Elangen, where her father lectured. After completing her doctorate in 1907 under the supervision of Paul Gordon, she worked at the Mathematical Institute of Elangen without pay for seven years. At the time, women were largely excluded from academic positions. In 1915, she was invited by David Hilbert and Felix Klein to join the mathematics department at the University of Göttingen, a world-renowned center of mathematical research. The philosophical faculty objected, however, and she spent four years lecturing under Hilbert's name. Her habilitation was approved in 1919, allowing her to obtain the rank of privatdozent. Notha remained a leading member of the Göttingen Mathematics Department until 1933. Her students were sometimes called the Notha Boys. In 1924, Dutch mathematician B. L. van der Weyden joined her circle and soon became the leading expositor of Notha's ideas. Her work was the foundation for the second volume of his influential 1931 textbook, Modern Algebra. By the time of her plenary address, at the 1932 International Congress of Mathematicians in Zurich, her algebraic acumen was recognized around the world. The following year, Germany's Nazi government dismissed Jews from university positions. And Notha moved to the United States to take up a position at Bryn Mawr College in Pennsylvania where she taught, among others, doctoral and postgraduate women including Marie Joanna Weiss, Ruth Stauffer, Grace Shover Quinn, and Olga Toskatod. At the same time, she lectured and performed research at the Institute for Advanced Study in Princeton, New Jersey. Notha's mathematical work has been divided into three epochs. In the first, 1908-1919, she made contributions to the theories of algebraic invariance and number fields. Her work on differential invariance in the calculus of variations, Notha's theorem, has been called one of the most important mathematical theorems ever proved in guiding the development of modern physics. In the second epoch, 1920-1926, she began work that changed the face of abstract algebra. In her classic 1921 paper Ideal Theory in Ringbereichen, Theory of Ideals in Ring Domains, Notha developed the theory of ideals in commutative rings into a tool with wide-ranging applications. She made elegant use of the ascending chain condition, and objects satisfying it are named Noetherian in her honor. In the third epoch, 1927-1935, she published works on non-commutative algebras and hypercomplex numbers, and united the representation theory of groups with the theory of modules and ideals. In addition to her own publications, Notha was generous with her ideas and is credited with several lines of research published by other mathematicians, even in fields far removed from her main work, such as algebraic topology. Thanks for watching Hurtley channel. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe our channel.